All right, I think we're recording now. Hi, Mom. <laughs> so, I'm Nathan. I'm Mariela. And in this video, we are going to be learning how to use AutoHotKey to, I guess, sign in to Facebook. Facebook. And maybe also click on some stuff. All right, so, uh, well, I mean, at this, yeah, so I guess we'll see. We're going to get into the matrix. We're getting into programming mode. Matrix. 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 So we should probably just switch to the, show the computer screen, right? Yeah. Right, so now. Can we do both? Like, have our beautiful faces on the screen and then. Yeah. Coding. I think they can do that on other websites. I don't know if Google's set up to do that yet. Let me see. Oh, this one on the left. This. Uh, there. This one. Yes. Oh, good God. Yeah, infinite screen. All right. It's a screen inside the screen inside the screen. We're in the matrix. Right, exactly. So the first step when you're trying to install auto hotkey. Well, I guess the first thing is explain what auto hotkey does. Do you want to go back on that? Yeah, well, how okay. do we get back to seeing us? <laughs> there we go. All right, so what AutoHotKey does is it lets you type out a list of instructions just as if you had a maid and you, were, you wanted to tell your maid, I want you to clean my room. Actually, I think I got a better example. What's a better example? All right, we're in a restaurant, right? And you know how in the restaurant the waiter comes up to you and asks you, What do you want? And then you tell the waiter, I like some steak and I like a well done. And I would like maybe a nice glass of wine. And the waiter will say, Let me just write all these things down. And then it goes to the kitchen and it goes to the kitchen and it says, Oh my God, Nathan, he wants steak and he wants a well done and he wants uh, a glass of wine and he wants this much ice. And then it comes back and the waiter comes back and he says, Nathan, Mr. Nathan, Sir Nathan, your steak will be ready shortly. And then next thing you know, he brings out all the food that you want and brings it to you. He basically told the waiter what you wanted. He went out and got all the stuff you wanted, and he came back and gave you what you wanted. I think that's a very good analogy. So it's basically you just type out some instructions, and then the computer does what you have told it to do. Now in this in the in this case I've never seen me it's a domestic helper. Domestic helper, okay, or butler or whatever. Um, the the key idea though is that you're you're writing out a list of instructions and then the computer is doing what you tell it to do. And in this case, what the instructions are telling the computer to do is to move the mouse cursor around on the screen, or you can have the computer type stuff out for you. Or your computer start a particular computer program, or you can have the computer switch to a particular window. So, for example, what I use it for a lot is if you have if you're on a, a website that keeps signing you out, like your bank website, and they don't save your password, what you can do is you can have a button, you can assign a button on your keyboard so that whenever you press that button, it types out your password and hits enter. Now with the bank, it's probably not a good idea to do it for your bank account, but for other websites, it might be very useful. Or you could just use all the hackies to lock you into Facebook. Or you could just use it for a Facebook, right. All right, so that's that's basically what it does. So now let's get started and figure out how to, how to install it, and then we'll figure out how to start giving it instructions. So just go here. So the first thing you do, is open up your browser and go to Google. And then you just type in auto hotkey. I think it's really important to say how we're clicking the second one that is called or, Yes, right. Because the first one, what what do what do they call when they when you basically take someone else? There's so, a squatter. Yes, that. So someone has taken their domain name somehow. Originally, their website was autohockey.com, but for some reason, someone else has taken it from them, and now they are running their website off this second one, ahkscript.org. So that's that's that. So just click on that second one, and basically, this is the screen you want. You want the screen to look like this. 
like will you want that big thing at the very top right which is a h k and we'll just for an example let's see what the first one looks like the first one looks like this so if it looks professional you're in the wrong one yeah i mean this autohockey.com the where place where we are right now it used to look like this when before when it was owned by the original owners it looked like this and then when these new people took it, they changed it to look like the way it does now. Okay, but, let's get to it. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. So what you want to do is click on the download button. And then what you do next depends on whether or not you are allowed to install software on your computer. If you are at work or at a library and you're not in, allowed to install software, then don't click on the installer button. So in other words, click on the other version. Yeah. Button. So what we're going to do is because we're we we don't have administrative access because we're not we're we're in like a library, so we're going to click on other versions. Is that illegal? It's not illegal. We're just badasses. Yeah. We're hacking. So then what you do is you click on this one, Unicode 32 bit. <laughs> and yeah, so you just click on that. And then this thing, this zip file downloads, and you click on that, and this thing opens up. And all you do is you just take this and you drag it onto the desktop. There. Boop, boop. We got auto hotkeys. So now you have it installed. So then what you do is you just double click on it. And it's just asking, you know, are you sure this isn't a virus? And we're saying, yes, we know it's not a virus. So now the first thing it asks you is, would you like to create a sample script it's just so you get an idea of how it's all supposed to look? So I always click yes. And then this is the list of instructions. So if you were at the restaurant, this would be like writing out your... The specials. Yeah, the, all the different... Well, yeah, exactly. Exactly. All your options, what buttons you can press, what, what food you can order. And so just to explain what you're looking at here, anything that has a semicolon in front of it, any line that has a semicolon in front of it is a comment. And they say it up here. And a comment is just ignored. It doesn't do anything. So basically, do you want to get back to watching us? Okay. Let me see. So Here we go. basically, the semicolon is if I tell Nathan, Nathan, I want you to take off your glasses. Well, it's the, a semicolon. So he's supposed to say, uh, 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 I'm not taking off my glasses because I am ignoring you. Right. So take off your glasses, Nathan. Take off your glasses, Nathan. <laughs> right. Very good. That's what the semicolon is doing. Very good analogy. I'm so good with analogies today. It's like, whoa. Let's see now. And what's the double column for? The double column. What double column? Uh, the double column. Oh, uh, this. Yeah, the double. Yeah, these two things. So these. So after these comments, you have this thing. And what the double, that thing there does, the double colon, is it says. On the left, I just thought of something so inappropriate when you say double column. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know what you're thinking. I'm not going to say anything. So, on the left of this thing, the double, the two, the, the four dots, on the left of that <laughs> is a key combination. Now, you're probably wondering, well, what if it's a key combination, what's that pound sign mean? And the pound sign is a like a nickname for a key. And I think it says up in one of the comments. Let's see, it says Windows. So the first key combination is Windows plus the Z key. And the Windows key, I mean, this this program only works for Windows. So if you have a Macintosh, it won't work with your, with your computer. But the Windows button is the button right between the Control button and the Alt button on the left, the bottom left corner of the keyboard. So is the square with the four squares. Right. Actually, this would be a good opportunity to switch to the... Yeah. Okay. So if you're looking at the keyboard, this is the Windows button. So the, the that key combination is when you hold the Windows button and you press Z at the same time. It'll do something. Got it? 
All right, so now the next thing, so what does it do? Well, it says that when you press it, it will run www.autohockey.com. So what that means is it's going to open up whatever your default browser is and start that website. So I, and I think, at least let's see if it works. I don't know if auto hockey is, hockey is running right now. So what we're going to do is, yeah, it's not running. So the next question is, well, how do you know if it's running or not? And what you do is you look at the bottom left, the bottom right of your computer screen and you look for a green icon and it, it, with an H on it. And that means that it's running. So if it's not running, what you can do is just double click on that thing that we downloaded. And then you can see in the bottom right, this thing popped up. Mm -hmm. And that means that it's now running. So then if we hit Windows Z, we should see Auto Hockey's website come up. So I'm going to hit it now. And there we go. Bam. So it works. You know what's so funny? That it's actually on the autohockeys.org website. It's taken to the autohockeys.com website. Yeah. And they need to change that. They haven't updated it. They haven't updated like, it. Hello, you need to update your code. Otherwise, it would be like guiding people to the wrong website. Yeah. But anyway, you should probably change it to autohockeys.org. Yes. To change to the right website. I think it was that. And do we so, have to save it? Yeah, so what you do is after you update it, you hit Control S, or you just go to File, Save. And then you go to the bottom right, and you right click, and you hit Reload This Script. And that is going to update the uh, instructions. So now if we hit Windows Z. So do you want to play it out in person so that people see what we just did? Sure. No, I mean actually like in the glasses. What do you mean? Okay. Like, I tell you Windows C and then because we didn't reload it. I know. I don't know. What do you? All right. It's really important, really, really super massively important that when you write code, that you save your, oh my God, I cannot see what you saw that. So it's really important that when you write code, after you saved it, that you reload the auto high keys button after you save it. Yes. Otherwise, if you save it and you don't reload the auto high keys button, the auto high keys is still running on the previous script that you have not saved. So if, for example, I tell Nathan, right now nathan like i'm writing code and i'm telling nathan nathan remove your glasses so i would do it actually i haven't you yeah. haven't you like, haven't how do we how do we create a, a real life analogy for that i would say it it's to, like, like save it. and the so, importance of saving so i think a good example would be suppose you're running a dinner party and you, you are the person in charge of running the party, and you're taking everybody's orders, and then one of your guests tells you, oh, I would like to change this part of my order. So you, you have your copy of the instructions, and you make the change there, but you forget to tell the actual cook. You gave him the first list, and you forgot to give him the second list. He is going to make the original order, because you didn't tell him that you changed it. So let's say, for example, one of my clients is vegetarian. He absolutely hates to eat meat. If I don't tell the chef after my friend told me, hey, I'm not going to eat meat, and the chef cooks the dish and it's full of pigs and pastimes or whatever, my friend is obviously going to be very disappointed because I did not update the chef. Therefore, every time you click save, be sure to save and reload and auto hide key so that when you, know, when you get your meal out, you get your most recent and updated order. Very good. Okay. That's, that was it. Okay. We're back in the matrix. Yes. Let's see. So that is that first line. And the second line is more of the same. So it's just saying when you hit this key combination, and in this case, it's if you look at the comment, it says it's Control Alt N. When you hit Control Alt N, I don't understand that. So it's basically just like a shortcut. When they have these these symbols, it's like a, a nickname or a, like an abbreviation. Just like if you said, you know, write your phone number. But when you write it down on a piece of paper, you write phone and then you write pound. Everybody reads pound as number. It's like a abbreviation. Hmm. I think that's a good analogy. 
Yeah. But how does that relate to this? What so, does it mean? Yeah, so that the this first one, it's called, I think, a carrot. This first one is for control, the control button on the keyboard. Uh, and then the second one is the nickname for alt. And when they're put next to each other like that, Auto Hockey knows that what you intend is for all three of those keys to be pressed at the same time. Okay. Can we make a comment explaining what these buttons sure. and that button are? So what we would do is we'd do a new line, we put in a semicolon. Oh no. Are we wrapping up? Um, well, I think this is a good tutorial. Explain the basics of everything. All right. Let's get back on the video and we'll do another one. All right. So. Hey, people. So, we're kind of closing out this day. So, we're into, I know, tea. So, we're going to have to like wrap up at least this part of the introduction, but we'll definitely continue with Matrix. You want to add? What? I don't know. What you add it. Uh, I mean, I think it's a great way to learn, start to learn how to program because you can immediately use it to save time. We didn't explain how to move the, the mouse around on the screen or how to click things or we didn't explain how to type stuff out with instructions. So that's some other cool stuff that would you'd really want to know before you start using it. But stay tuned because it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Cool.